All right, now if you are curious to know the battery test results of the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic LTE variant, you are watching the right video. And in this video, I am going to share the battery performance results of this watch in four different settings. And after watching this video, you would know the right settings for you depending on your requirement. And I'll also share some tips for improving the battery performance on this watch. So keep watching the video. Now just to reiterate, this is the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic 47mm and this is the LTE variant. Now the first settings. In these settings, I had set the mobile network to be always on. Since this is LTE variant, I can use either Bluetooth or while the phone is connected or the mobile network always on to independently use the watch to receive calls and notifications. So in the first settings, I had set the mobile network to be always on, which means the phone was not getting any notifications and calls through the phone, through the Bluetooth the network was constantly on. Here I had set the always on display on, the brightness was set to auto, the gesture control was on, health features were set to every 10 minutes, Wi-Fi was turned off. Now along with all these settings, I had also installed the Google Assistant which was running in the background always. And this runs in the background by default if you have installed the Google Assistant. Now let's talk about the results. With these settings, I have got 14 hours, 15 minutes of usage just before going to bed and I was left with about 15% of the battery and that could go on for another three plus hours which means it's about 18 hours of battery life I received with these settings. And the culprit here is the Google Assistant, which consumed 82.7% of the battery, which is really, really bad. So keep in mind, if you're using Google Assistant, that consumes a lot of batteries, so you might as well disable it or completely uninstall it. That's completely up to you. You can see the usage here, the Smart Gesture feature also has consumed 20.5% of the battery, then the AOD 13.4%, Samsung Health 10%, and uh, battery use during calls 5.8% and maps etc have consumed a few percentages of battery. So this is the worst battery life you can get if you have enabled all these features on the watch. And if you have set the mobile network to LTE only, you are going to get just about 15 to 18 hours of battery life. So it will die in the middle of the night. So this is not the settings you should choose if you are using an LTE watch. Now let's move to the second settings. Now in this settings, again, I wanted to keep everything same except for the Google Assistant. I completely uninstalled Google Assistant on the watch and set the networks to LTE only. Always on display was on, brightness was set to auto, and this time I turned off the gesture control as well. So two things have changed in this settings. The Google Assistant was completely off and the gesture control was off, keeping the mobile network always on. Now let's look at the result. As you can see, it is showing 23 hours, 25 minutes used with another one hour battery left. So we are getting one full day, which is 24 hours of battery life if you don't use the Google Assistant and gesture controls. Now this is another extreme situation. Now let's move on to the third settings, which would be the ideal settings for most of us. In this scenario, I had set the mobile network to auto, which means if the phone is near to the watch, the LTE will not be active on the watch. It will be completely off. All the notifications and call we are going to get on the watch will be through the phone. And this time I had turned off the AOD, Wi-Fi was on, brightness was set to auto, gesture control was off, health features were set to manual. Whenever we want to check the heart rate or any other measurements, we can manually do it if you set it to manual. With these settings, I got one day 12 hours of usage with another two hours of battery left, which means more than one and a half days of battery we can get with these settings. And this is an ideal and the best settings we can go for if you are using the LT variant of the Galaxy watch. As you can see the usage here, there is no assistant, there is no gestures. Uh, Samsung Health 10%, Bixby Voice, Google Play Services, One UI Home, Maps, Photo Sticker, Recent Apps, etc. You charge the watch in the morning till the next day afternoon, we will be able to use the watch. But the caveat here is the next day you might have to charge the watch after noon because there are possibilities that it can die before you reach your home from your work. That's a bummer here. You will probably have to charge this watch every day, either in the night or in the morning. And if you use the watch moderately, you will be able to get back home in the second day evening and charge it. This is the best of both the features and performance of battery we can get on the Galaxy Watch. Now, let's move to the last settings. This is the power saving mode. In this mode, obviously, we have to turn on the power saving mode toggle. The mobile network will be set to auto. Auto brightness will be enabled. Gesture controls will be obviously off. Health features will be manual. No Google Assistant. And even the touch response on the watch slows down a bit. Maybe because the processor will be underclocked with these settings. 
So you might find it a little difficult to use the watch in the power saving mode. However, this is much better on the Galaxy Watch 6 series than the Watch 5 and the Watch 4 series. In the power saving mode, the watch is much more responsive than the previous generation watches. Now let's look at the results of this mode. I have got one day 22 hours of battery life with two hours of battery left, which means we can get two full days of battery life on power saving mode which is 48 hours. This is really good result for a Wear OS smartwatch like Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Getting two days of battery life on power saving mode is pretty good for the battery size that we have on this watch. By now you already know which is the best settings for you. To save or conserve battery, you need to set the network connection to auto connect. If you're okay with turning off the always on display, do that. It is gonna save a lot of battery. Set the brightness level to auto and turn off the gesture control if you don't use it. And then set the health measurements to every 10 minutes or manual would be much better. Apart from this, if you want to save more battery, you can also turn off raise to wake. And while you go to sleep every day, if your phone is not on power saving mode, turn on the power saving mode when you're on bed. It will measure your sleep. Even when you have turned on the power saving mode, the sleep will be measured on the watch. And you can turn off the Wi-Fi if you don't want it. That might also help save some battery. These are some basic tips that you can use to conserve some battery on your Galaxy watch. You let me know which watch are you rocking right now and how is the battery performance on your watch. Do drop a comment and let me know this will definitely benefit the community. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this informational. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.